Now at five, new reaction after the Sentinel Academy in Miami gave their staff an ultimatum. If you want to work there, do not get vaccinated against COVID-19. CBS 4's Jim DeFiti joins us now. And Jim, you spoke to one of the leading Republicans in the legislature about what's happening. I did. Uh, you know, Manny Diaz, State Senator Manny Diaz, who represents the area around Hialeah, is, is considered the, the Senate, state Senate's expert when it comes to education, particularly on the issue of vouchers and private schools. He works for, for a company that, uh, you know, employ, that is a private school company. So he's one of these figures that we've been wanting to hear what he thinks about when it comes to the Sentner Academy. And we were able to catch up with him this morning. And here's that conversation. I found the, the letter and the stance um, pretty ridiculous, to be honest with you, and, and I don't understand it. Republican State Senator Manny Diaz is the leading proponent of vouchers and private schools in the state legislature. These are his first comments on the threats by a private school in Miami, the Sentner Academy, to fire any teacher who gets the COVID-19 vaccine, a position the school's founder, Layla Sentner, reiterated recently on video. Today or going forward, that is considering getting the vaccine, that I am not okay with you being at this school. In letters to staff, teachers, and to the parents, Sentner cited wild and debunked conspiracy theories to defend her decision. You said you found the letter ridiculous. Do you also find it dangerous? It could. Well, it is dangerous on different levels, Jim, because I think, again, going back to my original premise, which I don't believe that we should have uh, any of these places requiring a vaccine passport. We should not um, be asking people or requiring people that if they have taken a vaccine, they're excluded. So I do I do believe uh, that, that that's a big concern. Uh, and it could be a, a, a danger on the healthcare side because if you have folks like that uh, trying to dissuade people from taking a vaccine that's available, I think that could be a problem as well. So you have a situation here where he says he's going to also reach out to the State Department of Education, and State Department of Health, which raises the question, where is Florida's Surgeon General on this issue? Why has he not spoken up? Well, legislators who have spoken to him today said that he's not going to be making any public comments, but rather will simply continue to encourage people to follow CDC protocols, which is not what the Sentinel Academy is doing. Jim, are we getting any sense of how people inside the school are reacting to all this attention? Uh, they, in fact, sent a new letter out today to, to parents um, suggesting that the media has made this uh, much bigger than it needs to be. Uh, but I also have talked to people in and around uh, Layla Sender who says that she seems to be really enjoying the notoriety and the publicity. That this is something that she has long wanted, a national platform for her ideas and views, as crazy to some as they may be. And I can tell you that she's now going to be the featured speaker at a Open Florida maskless event in Tampa coming up in a few weeks and again she'll probably be hailed as a hero at uh, that uh, that type of gathering interesting update there Jim Defeaty thanks so much for your insight